can't battle the Nevada summer without it. Drinking water. It's the top recommendation to prevent heat related injuries right now. But getting that water to you presents dangers of its own. A News Now reporter Ryan Mathy takes us on a ride. It's slippery and precious. That's kind of cool. Actually. This machine is on overdrive inside Tahoe Springs water, cleaning and refilling thousands of jugs daily. This is Tyler. Drivers get an early start to load up and on, no matter how it's packaged. You're probably doing anywhere from 10,000 to probably 20,000 steps. Kevin Roman says uh, it's also to avoid yeah. a sizzling reality. I already see you sweating, yeah. and we are working in the shade. <laughs> yes. So you're thinking it's going to get worse throughout the day. You know, it's, it's typically just kind of part of the gig. And then 12 of these trucks hit the street, each one holding upwards of 5,000 pounds of water. Each one of these jugs, 50 pounds of water. And he says you feel it all the more in extreme heat. The routes change daily, but the heat stays constant. The bulk of it done the sooner you can. Customers are as central as the Las Vegas Strip to as distant as Beatty. Roman had over 70 deliveries on his Henderson route on Friday. Some upstairs, all in rising heat. Grab two more. And most requiring multiple trips. But this is where you kind of catch your breath, take a drink of water. Truck AC provides seconds of relief before he repeats again and again and again, lasting up to 10 hours with the current demand, he says, the goal to return with an empty truck and unscathed. About every hour or so, I'll try to do some stretches on here. You gotta just just take that much more extra caution, that extra little bit of uh, time. Uh, that's what the weekends are to, to rest, you know, re-energize yourself and then get ready for the next week. Where he's hoping this week's body aches will have recovered. Ryan Mathy, 8 News Now. Boy, no kidding, those are heavy. Hey, you can imagine the demand for water right now. He calls summer the busiest time of the year, adding the average time he gets back to the warehouse and then starts unloading those empty bottles is usually the hottest time of the day.